Da. Good morning. Uh, 10 o'clock easy line today. Thanks for joining. I'll be starting in a couple of minutes. Um, 10 o'clock is our new time, so I'm really hoping that you've all remembered and you saw my reminder this morning and that you're ready to go. Silla, boy is our Silla. Thanks for joining me. Good. Oh, I can see a few people are watching live, so that always makes me happy. Not everybody will be taking part, I'm sure, but um, as long as I've got a few people watching, then we'll crack on, I think. Um, I'm going to be using a kettlebell today just to mix things up, but all the exercises that I'm going to do, you can use with a tin, dumbbells, anything you've got is fine. I'll just show you how to do certain things with whatever you've got. Morning, Diane. Morning, Lynn. Oh, I'm so pleased you are happy with a new time. Um, yeah, 10 o'clock, the earlier the better for me, really. 10 o'clock is good. Um, it suits me better with the homeschooling at the moment. Dave, morning. Jean, morning. Great stuff. Plenty of you watching. Let's get started. I'm going to try... No, let me... I was going to try and put some music on this morning. Um, and we'll get started. Marching on the spot. So much better. Oh, I'm so pleased. That's really good to hear. Okay, let's start marching on the spot. Try and put some music on in the background. I've switched all computers off in the house, so Wi-Fi-wise we should be okay. No internet connection. Oh, typical. Okay, marching on the spot. Nice and tall. Shoulders back. Think about your posture. Okay, roll the shoulders back. Shoulder rolls. <clears throat> and press the arms out in front. Shake it off. Bring the knees up, high knees. The trouble with the music is depends how fast it is, like this song, I tend to go to the beat. Not a bad thing, I suppose. Keep it going. Shake it off. Kick the heels back. Add the arms. Pull back with the arms. Pull back. Kick the heels back. So I turn to the side like this. Back into a march. Swing the arms up and down. And across. Shake it off. Pick up the pace, bump it with the arms. Oh, let me put my tracker on. Punch out in front. Above the head, punch up. Front again. Kick 
keep it keep marching keep moving and sidestep Back into March. We'll do our sprints on the spot in a moment. Okay, so we're going to do five 10 second sprints on the spot. Just go as fast as you're able to. As long as you're going faster than your marching pace, that's all we're looking for. So in three, two, one, off we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two one slow it down keep marching keep it moving keep it moving okay up we go again in three two one let's go ten nine eight seven six five four three two one good two down three to go okay third round three two one go ten nine eight seven six five four three two one good two more in three two one go ten nine eight seven six five four three two one good okay for our last 10 second sprint on the spot i want you to really get your knees up high so usually i want you to just do fast feet but this time we're going to do fast high knees which is really hard actually so you can try to start, keep your feet moving. Um, if it's a bit much, just go back to your running on the spot. So we're looking for knees up, knees up, knees up really high. If you don't fancy that, just do your run on the spot. So in three, two, one, high knees. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Killer. It's an absolute killer. Keep the feet moving side to side. Oh, well done. <clears throat> Keep the feet moving. We're just going to wrap the arms round. Anna, just swing the arms up. Woo. Good. That one definitely got the hat trick going. Okay, shake it off. Ready to go. So today we're going to follow on from the similar um, layout as we've done the past couple of weeks. So I think it works quite well and it's just something a bit different. So we're going to start off with two... I've done it wrong. doesn't matter. I was going to do two cardio exercises. We're going to put a squat in there, which is more leg strength, but it doesn't matter. We love squats. So, two exercises, we're going to repeat them 30 seconds, three times over, then we move on to legs, and then we move on to upper body. So the first two exercises are kettlebell swing and a squat, 30 seconds of each. So kettlebell swing, I've got a kettlebell, if you haven't, you can just use a tin. So if I just demonstrate with a kettlebell, and then I'll demonstrate with a tin, if I can get my hands on one. So shoulders back, swing between the legs, up to shoulder level. So you're not bending your knees much. So if I turn to the side, I want you to really push the hips forward. So swing, hips forward. Swing, push the hips. Drive with the hips. So that's what it looks like with the kettlebell. <coughs> Just gonna use a candle. So if you've got a tin or a dumbbell, do the same thing with the dumbbell, obviously. It's a bit easier to hold the top. If you've got a tin, just hold it and do the same thing. So the movement's the same. So slight bend in the knee, I still want you to push with the hips, 
Obviously, if you've got a tin, it's going to be really light. So you might not feel much, but it's still 30 seconds of moving. It'll be more effective with a heavier object. Um, so yeah, if you have got a heavy dumbbell, grab that quickly or just use whatever dumbbell you've got. And then a squat. With your squat, you can hold your tins down by your side or in the middle, whatever's comfortable for you. We're going 30 seconds and a rest for 15. So grab your weights or whatever you've got. And we are going to start in 15 seconds time with kettlebell squat. No, sorry. <laughs> kettlebell swing and then a squat. Shoulders back in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Swing, shoulder level. Push the hips forward. Good. Keep it going. Swing, let the momentum do the work. It's not lifting it up with the arms, really push with the legs. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. And rest. 15 seconds rest, I'm going to a squat. I'm gonna hold my kettlebell in front of me like this. You can hold your tins wherever, probably easier down by your side. Off we go. Squat as low as you're comfortable with. If you're doing half squats, then it looks like this. If you're doing full squats, all the way down. Feet nice and wide, flat on the floor. Haven't done the session with this kettlebell before. I think I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> How many is nine kilos? Keep it going. Three, two, one. Fabulous. 15 seconds rest. Back into our swing. Oh, I'm tired already. I have been for a run this morning. I didn't get very far because it's still really icy where I am. So frustrating. Let's go. Swing. Swing. Good. Keep it going. On to round two. 15 seconds in. Keep those shoulders back. Keep it going. And stop, fabulous. 15 seconds rest, on to our squats. Let me know how you're finding the swings if you're using a dumbbell. If you're not keen, just run on the spot or march on the spot or do whatever exercise you want. Okay, squats, off we go. I do Lance's class on a Monday quite often. And if I'm doing it with a kettlebell, there's some exercises that I can't do because it requires two. So I just do my own thing for that one exercise. So it doesn't matter as long as you keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. 15 seconds rest. We go on to our third set of this double whammy. So back to our swings in four seconds time. Three, two, one, off we go. Come on, stay with me. If you're not swinging, if you're running on the spot, keep it going, keep it moving. You only do short sessions, only half an hour. Keep it going. In five, four, three, two, one. Fabulous. Squats next. Woo. Feet nice and wide. Ma Mena, mam. Till okay, diolch am edrych. Mae hwnna ni'n anodd, mi'n dynnu'r kettlebell. So off we go. Sorry, I'm too busy talking to my mum. Um, yeah. My mum likes to catch up on the session, so, and I know she likes a kettlebell. So this session, mum, I'm using the kettlebell for the whole thing. So I want to see video proof of you doing it tomorrow, please. That'd be lovely. 
Okay, keep it going. I've lost track of the seconds now, sorry. Let's go for another three, two, one. Excellent. Woo, right. Short rest before we start our leg circuit, which is going to be a killer after that, I think. Short rest. Grab a drink, catch your breath. Will do. Make sure you do. Send me some video proof. Excellent. Okay. Next two exercise is forward and backwards lunge and a deadlift. So if I demonstrate both, forward and backwards lunge, hold on to your weights here or down by your side. So we're forward, middle, backwards, swap legs, forward, middle, backwards. And straight leg deadlift, shoulders back. If you've got tins, which is all dumbbell, which is probably likely, <laughs> I'm gonna grab my two candles just to demonstrate. Shoulders back, slight bend in the knee, and then I want you to take the dumbbells just past knee and back. Slowly down and back. You should really feel it in the hamstrings, back of the thigh. Make sure your shoulders back. I do not want rounded shoulders. Awful posture. So think about posture, shoulders back, slowly down, back up, slowly down, back up, slight bend in the knee. So a straight leg deadlift. Okay, so we start with our forwards and backwards lunges in four, five seconds time. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Forward, together, backwards, swap legs, forwards, together, backwards. Awesome. Keep it going. Halfway. Remember to switch legs. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Excellent. Okay. Straight leg deadlift. Shoulders back. I'll turn to the side. I can't see my timer then. I'll turn to this side. Shoulders back. Slight bend in the knee. Off we go. Down and up. Slowly down and up. Slowly down and straight. Let's turn to the... Can't, uh, I've got bad posture because I'm twisting looking at my timer. Keep it going. Oh, you know what? I think we'll do this one for longer because I wasn't looking at the time. <laughs> Three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, back to our lunges. So I'm going to hold my dumbbell down this time. <clears throat> so you can mix it up if you want to hold it in front of you. If you want to make it really hard, hold it above your head. Or go on there, let's do that. Let's go. Forwards, middle, backwards. Forwards, oh, I didn't swap legs. Together, back, forward, together, back. Keep it going. Oh, adverts on my music all the time. Keep it going. Forward, together, back. Oh, it's harder with the weight above your head. And rest. Woo! Okay, good, well done. Back to our straight leg deadlift. So, shoulders back. Feet about hip width apart, off we go. Slow and back. Legs are straight, remember. Slight bend in the knees. Or maybe a soft, soft knee, I think, is the uh, <laughs> proper term. Keep it going, 15 seconds left. Should feel it in the hamstrings. Keep it going, I do. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. 15 seconds. And then we're on to our last round, I think. Yeah, our last round of, of legs. So I'm gonna go the opposite side now. Okay. Just don't wanna flash my belly. Off we go. Forward, together, back, swap legs. Forward, 
together back you don't have to have your weight in the air you can have it down by your side in front of you whatever's easier for you but uh I like to mix it up. Oh, it's really tricky on the backwards lunge with the weight in the air. In three, two, one, excellent. Oh, okay. Uh, in five, four, three, two, one, straight leg deadlift, off we go. Slowly down, up, slow. So slower on the down and a bit faster up. That makes sense. Keep it going. And then we're on to our upper body circuit. Five, four, three, two, one, excellent. Okay, another rest, grab a drink, and I'll explain to you the next two exercises. I'm going to just uh, adjust my trousers because my trousers keep falling down. Upright row and tiptoes, and a shoulder press. Oh dear. Okay, I'll leave that. Upright row, and I thought we'd add a bit of a tiptoe, make it a bit more interesting. So shoulders back, upright row, tiptoe. Upright row, up to your tiptoes. So we're pausing at the top and adding a bit of a tiptoe just to get the calves working. And then a shoulder press. So with the tins, obviously a shoulder press is quite straightforward. With a dumbbell, I'm gonna just hold it like this in front of my face and press like this. So we will start with upright row and tiptoes once I've just uh, tightened my trousers. Okay, oh, in, three, two, one, off we go, upright row, tiptoes, up, tiptoes, good, up, keep your shoulders back, try not to round them forward again, keep it going, Five, four, three, two, one. Fabulous. Shoulder press. Any type of overhead press is fine because I've got the kettlebell. I'm going to turn it this way and just go straight up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. That's all good, actually. Keep it going, with 15 in. Keep it going, I think I've got the time wrong actually. Three, two, one. Oh, I found that hard. Oh, well done. Okay, where are we? Back to upright row and tiptoe. So, in five seconds, oh, shoulders back, three, Two, one, off we go, up, tiptoe, up. Oh, my shoulders are feeling it. Oh, keep it going. Fifteen seconds left. Oh, <laughs> oh, five, four. Three, two, one, brilliant, well done. Shoulder press. I'm finding the shoulder press really awkward with this. So I'm gonna do uh, one arm. I'm gonna do a single arm shoulder press and then for the last round, I'm gonna do the other arm. You carry on doing both arms, completely up to you. Let's go. Two, actually, I'm, I'm gonna switch halfway. So if you have got a kettlebell, and you're doing the same as me, then in 15 seconds, oh, we'll switch now. <laughs> but if you've just got two dumbbells or two weights, you could carry on doing both at the same time. Keep it going. Three, two, 
three, two, one. Yes, well done. Oh, we're on our last round. Excellent. Let's have a look how many people are still watching. Seven. And I think that's eight because Dave and Jean are two people. Um, I'm hoping that Ian is exercising with Diane. I think I've got that right. I can't remember. So that's nine. Excellent. Well done. Well done, guys. Brill. Last round now of upright row and shoulder press. Oh, and then we'll see. Well, I Maybe we'll do a little finisher. Okay, in three, two, one, back to our upright row. Let's go up, tiptoes, up, tiptoes. Keep it going. Maybe we'll finish with the traveling high, le high knees because I know Scylla's watching. 15 seconds. Oh, I'm struggling with this kettlebell today oh <laughs> well at least I've had a good workout from it three two one oh gosh okay 15 seconds and then shoulder press and then we're done oh gosh right off we go three two well, let's go. Oh, come on, keep it going. Okay, I'm switching sides. So if you've already got one kettlebell and you're doing it this way, then we're 15 seconds in. Oh, I'm feeling it. Oh, five, four, three. Oh, well done, well done. That was hard work. I don't know how you felt, but I felt that was really hard work with my kettlebell today. But good, good effort, well done. I think we are gonna finish with two cardio exercises. Um, a cat, um, traveling high knees for 30 seconds, straight into, you know what, let's just blitz, let's just do, Travelling high knees, squats, and sprint on the spot. Really, really fast. So I want fast squats, high knees, and an all-out effort sprint to finish. So we're gonna do so we're gonna do a minute and a half of work to finish. Not much really, but I want full all effort, all in. We're gonna have 15 seconds rest. We're going to do our 50, uh, 30 seconds travelling high knees, squats, sprint, done. Okay, in, three, two, one, let's go. Knees up, knees up, knees up, travel to the side and pause, let's go. Hold, up, 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 hold. Keep it going. Keep it going, 15 seconds in. Remember, you can do this one like this. It's absolutely fine. Come on, Zilla. Up. Five, four, three, two, one. Straight into squats. Let's go. No rest. Nice and deep. No weights. This should feel easy compared to having weights doing the squats, especially that kettlebell. I won't be using that again. <laughs> Keep it going. In, five, four, three, two, one, sprint. Let's go, come on. Come on, push, push, push. Go, 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 go. Come on, let's go. Come on, 15 seconds left. Push, push, push. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Well done. Oh, well. I was feeling that. Well done, well done. Yeah, all of you are still watching. Great stuff. Oh, keep the feet moving. 
catch your breath, grab a drink. Great effort. Well done. Oh, what time are we? Oh, 10.30 on the dot, fabulous. Okay, we're gonna just stretch it out. Push the hands forward. Shake it off, hands on your lower back. Well, I think when we finally, eventually get back to the leisure centre, you'll all be too fit to, uh, to do our old classes. I think we need to up our game. If you have, you've been, lots of you have been doing so many of these sessions that I'm confident that your fitness has improved. Arms up. So well done. I know it's a different type of fitness, but um, yeah, we'll have to adapt our classes, I think. Shake it off, let's do legs. Hold on to your foot or trouser, push your hips forward, keep your knees together. Swap sides. <laughs> Hamstring, one leg out in front, toes forward. I missed any comments. Phew. <laughs> well done, Scylla. Well done, all of you who've watched and taken part. Thank you. Calf stretch to finish. Front knee bends, back leg straight. Swap sides. And relax, excellent, well done, really great effort. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, actually one thing, I think we're gonna um, trial some Zoom sessions. My colleague Craig already does some, so I'm not sure whether some of you do his Zoom sessions. Um, haven't got lots of information because still a few things we need to sort out. So if, if you think you'd be interested in a bit of a more interactive session, so obviously on Zoom, You'd be able to see me as you do now, but I would be able to see you as well and maybe a bit more interaction, a little chat after the session. Um, they would be capped at maybe eight people. Um, so let me know what you think. I know some people will be keen. That's absolutely fine. I know lots of you catch up later, which is brilliant. Well done. Um, so it might not be appropriate for you. So yeah, let me know. Send us a message or just comment. Mm, not sure if I'm interested in Zoom or yes. That, that'd be great and it'll give us an idea of numbers then and no pressure just want to know your thoughts enjoy the rest of your day thanks for joining me see you next week bye bye